Hey everybody, I'm back with another, it's been a while, so for an unboxing video, uh, I'm becoming more susceptible, susceptible to uh, online advertising and stupid Facebook ads for some reason, but I think, was it Facebook or Instagram? One of the two, but they got me this time, and it was for, dun dun dun, I've only cut the uh, box open, for the Ultimate Rinse Cup. Uh, paint puck at paint puck paint puck .com. I'll put a link in there um, so here's why I'd, I fell so I fell for it um, I've been using this look at that you see that mess I saw this because I thought it was pretty cool because the way it works it's gonna be kind of weird with the camera um, it's not a good idea to keep your brushes stored upside down or handle down bristles up water paint goo whatever settles down into the bristles when you do it that way and it ruins your brushes they don't last as long so i was like oh this thing's pretty cool the uh the spring contraption holds the brushes the right way and theoretically it's pretty good problem is it's made out of metal i think for if i was using oil paints and there was paint thinner in there, I think it would be a lot better and it would be worth it. I also bought this little nipple thing for to help because there was this metal grate that went in the bottom and I felt like it would be damaging my brushes. So I didn't use it. I took it out and started using this blue thing, which I think is made by the same company actually. Um, but I only used this in my final brush soap and cleaning my brushes. As far as painting and water, I use a different cup. So the reason I don't like this is, here, watch. The things, the brushes, they, if you go to put one in, the other ones kind of fall over. They're always falling out. You see how that one kind of tilted as I was taking it? But every time the brushes just, it's a hard time to get them to stay in place. And so I, every time I bump it, a brush falls out or something happens and I'm like, ugh, whatever. So I've been using it. Then I saw the ad for this thing, and you'll see why in a second. So let me, like I said, I haven't opened this yet. Just came in the mail, and weird. Directions, thank you, Ultimate Rinse Cup. I'll put that up in a little later. Um, I thought this was all going to, no wonder it fits in the box. I thought this was hard plastic. It's not. Okay, so take this off. Weird. Not was I, what I was expecting at all. So this is like a plastic PVC container. This is made out of rubber, silicone, rubber. I'm guessing because I haven't learned directions because I'm bad at it. But this fits in like that for size. That's where we are. So no one, when the box showed up, I was like, there's no way this thing fit in that box. Well, that's why, because this thing bends. Paint puck is what it's called, trademarked. But here's why I wanted it. So then this sits on top. I'm not, not that I don't like pink. I mean, look at me. I'm in a black shirt every time. But it was either like red or blue. And I think I picked red. That's not red. It's pink. So I'm stuck with pink. Anyway, so here's what happens. Water goes in. Let's test and see if it leaks. So water goes in. It's got that nice bottom there instead of the metal grate. That's better. <laughs> so I'll go fill that back up. Anyway, so just. Wow, okay. 
let's see if I can turn this so you can kind of see on the bottom. Yeah. So the way it works, there's that same, like the, sorry, I'm being confusing. See that blue thing that I bought that suctions into the bottom there? It's built into the base here. It's not a removable piece. And it helps. It's not very dangerous to your bristles, which is great, especially if you're paying a lot of money for brushes. That's cool. But here's, it's got a nice edge. Oops. It's got a nice edge on there. That fits. This holds brushes in the water. See that? If you need to soak it, my gross arm here, that works. And it looks like it would pretty much fit any hobby brush. Kind of goes in there. Now, same with the outside. They fit perfectly. There's different... That's great. Those are not going to tip and knock like the spring. Let's see, I'm going to pull this. You get more water. And, but this, see how that is? If you put it in the wrong way or just put it in too far down, it just tips out. That's why I wasn't liking that thing. This, those are not coming out of there now if you use giant brushes let's say like this that's not going to do any good for you okay if you're doing the artist opus dry brush not going to fit which is okay i mean you don't that's the only brush i think that won't fit in there any other brush it's going to be fine you're going to work i just bumped the camera so I don't see anything wrong with this. So color me impressed. I thought since this was a separate piece, that would leak out of there. It's not leaking. It's down in there. It looks like something straight out of the ocean. But, wow. I'm impressed. I really am, actually. Remember the other, <laughs> in the... In the uh, wet palette video, this is one of those times where I threw money at a problem and it worked. Uh, let me just read the instructions for everyone so you can see them. Stretch the ends and fill with water. Rub brush against the bottom quickly. Use squeegee flaps to dry your brush. Use brush holders to keep your favorite brushes ready for use. Drip tray catches runoff. Clean, simply wash with soap and water. Peel off when paint dries. Ah! That's better than plastic. I didn't even think of that. When paint gets on here, you can just peel it off. It's not going to stick to that. Uh, the squeegee collar brush holder also fits on most common cups or mugs. That was one thing. I don't have a mug sitting around here. But you can take this. Let's say you don't like that or you're using it for something else. You can put this on a mug separately on your own favorite. Let's say you bought one of those Games Workshop ones that are really expensive for a mug. Um, you can stick this on the top of that. That's pretty cool. I Ringing endorsement from me for the uh, paint puck. Paint puck. What? Oh my gosh, my brain just broke and I already don't remember the actual name. It is late. Uh, the Ultimate Rinse Cup uh, by Paint Puck. Share pictures. Of probably, I'll, I'm going to give them a shout out. That is really, really cool. So... Cheers to the paint puck. I'm impressed. Uh, box, make sure there's nothing else on there that I missed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Brush holders, dual squeegee lips, variable core, comes in three sizes, patented puck nubs, removable drip tray, and stability base. So it does come in two inches, three and a half, and six. I don't know. Maybe a six is in my future. Uh, I'm more three and a half, though. Anyway, good product. Talk to you later.